Hey, welcome back, everybody. I'm Mike, also known as Big Blue D on Twitch. Um, so today, right, um, I want to talk about a misconception. Well, I don't, I don't even know if it's called a misconception or not. Um, a mistake, maybe. Um, so, like, growing up, right, um, it, at least when I was a kid, and it was like... It was kind of frowned upon a little bit, like, if you were a dude, to show emotions or feelings, right? Um, you know, that whole, you gotta be a man, you gotta be a tough guy, right? Um, and if you, if you cried or whatever, it was looked upon as kind of weak or whatever, right? So... It looked like that was turning the corner. It looked like people were finally starting to realize that, wait a minute, man, woman, whatever, we're people, right? And as people, as humans, we all have emotions, we all have feelings. Um, and to deny those feelings is, number one, against human nature. And number two, it it, it doesn't do any good, right? Like, it doesn't benefit you in any way um but then i've noticed that recently there's been like this this influx again this kind of kick up in activity of like oh you know don't don't show emotions you're a guy you know if you if you show affection to to someone like if like if you say to your buddy like hey i love you or um or if you cry in front of them or whatever like it's weak it's it's you know feminine it's whatever right and i don't understand that line of thinking i really don't and like you know you you macho men uh, you know that you think you are um you know you can come at me all you want you can say like i'm weak whatever um the truth is, it takes a lot more strength and, uh, you know, um, what's the word I want to use? It takes a lot more strength and, like, character, right, to actually be true to yourself in any facet of life. Whether it comes to, um, you know, just being who you are personality-wise, whether it's showing emotion, you know doing what you want to do in your job, whatever, right? Um, being, being you, being true to yourself is the hardest and awesome thing you can do for your, you know, period. By showing emotion, it's a lot harder to make oneself vulnerable and expose your, your, your most, um, sensitive or uh vulnerable emotions your or your sense of self um so to say like oh it's not manly to cry it's not manly to say i love you it's not manly to show affection or to to be sad right like no that's that's wrong it doesn't you know th there's this whole stigma of Men need to be alphas, right? They need to be the leader of the pack. They need to be the head of the household. They need to be the one that takes charge and runs everything. Like, no. No. That's not... You can still be the leader of the pack and not be the, you know, closed off, I don't show emotion kind of guy. Um... Like I'll admit, when I was and when I watched Simon Birch, um, my dog Skip, a dog's purpose, um, my life, roommates, uh, Steel Magnolias, I cry my eyes out. Like, and I don't, you know, I don't apologize for that. Those movies make they hit home. You know, they they touch me. They they get me. You know, because, and that's, that, that's what they're supposed to do, right? Um, you know, my dog Skip is supposed to touch on that whole, you know, and so 
Yeah, same with um dog's purpose. As opposed to touch upon that dogs are are like man's best friend. Um they're part of the family. They're not just pets, they're family. Simon Burke, you know, is like that whole um you're an outsider kind of thing. People look at you differently, uh treat you differently, but like in the end, like you're trying to prove you're just one of them. Um, roommates, the whole grandfather, grandson relationship, um, my life, what it's like to go through cancer with your loved ones, um, and Steel Magnolia is just an awesome, awesome movie overall, like, just so many themes touched upon in that movie, but, like, you know, when I go, if, if uh, if I see, like, I don't know, a, a deer, right, that's been hit by a car on the, on the parkway. Like, that's going to make me sad, and I'm going to express it. If, I, if my buddy does something, you know, like, like, say my buddy's just got, like, he broke up with his girlfriend or something, right? I'm going to be like, hey, man, you know, I'm here for you. I love you, buddy. Like, it, that doesn't make me weak. It doesn't make you weak. Like, it's expressing your feelings. I, I ask you, what good does repressing how you feel do, right? If you go through life completely walling off your emotions, in the end, what does that do? It gives you social status, maybe? Like, among other, like men who like to bang rocks against their heads and crush beer cans in their fists and you know, ah, alpha ha, 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 ha. me tough guy uh. like okay and your life is also half as full as those who express their honest feelings um those who are true to themselves right um, there's also this kind of attached stigma of, like, well, if I express my emotions, I'm being a burden. Because, you know, if I, if I show that I'm sad, or if I, you know, then, then people are gonna be like, oh, I have to, I have to, like, um, talk to them, or I have to consult. No, that's not how it works. It's not a burden to express your feelings, and those around you who care about you don't see it as a burden. They want to be there for you. They want to help you, right? Um, so that whole like mentality of like I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold my emotions in because um, I don't want to burden people is also highly mistaken, and it's just it's a falsehood because you're not burdening anyone. It's not a burden to be yourself. It's not a burden to be vulnerable. It's not, you know, weak to be vulnerable. Um, I don't, I just, it's like people think we're still in the 1930s, right? And everybody has to be like the, the, the Tommy, the Tommy gun wielding gangsters. And only the women can be like, Touchy feely. I'm sorry, but last I knew, like, we stopped eating cigarettes for breakfast and, you know, using fucking uh, leeches to cure cancer, right? Like, <laughs> I, I think we stopped using badgers, um, rabid badgers to, like, clean wounds by chewing it off, too. I mean, at least I hope so. Um, if not, well, direct me to said hospital, because I want to see it in action. But I digress. Um, yeah, so, like, I don't know. Like, these... I guess I just want to, like, make it clear that, like, if you're watching this, right, and you've ever felt the need to repress what you're feeling, be it positive or negative, right? Don't do it. You know what? And even if it's a random... You know what? 
If you pass a random person on the street, dare you to shout, I love you, man. Like, just do it. Just do it. Who cares? Even if they look at you funny or flip you off, doesn't matter. Just do it. We need more love in the world. We need more positivity. We need to embrace one another more. We need to be more affectionate with one another. We need to be more positive than negative. Because the whole reason this world has become, you know, what it has is because of people that repress things and wall it off and 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 make p other people feel less than for not doing the same. So, anyway, that's my rant. I won't keep you any longer. I, I, over here, it's 80 degrees. If it's the same by you, like, you should be out and enjoying the day, not listening to me go on a rant. <laughs> so, uh, remember, everybody, um, to treat others the way you want to be treated. If you want to hit that bell and the like, I appreciate it. If not, it's all good. Because I like you and I would ring your bell anyway. Hey.